Hey guys, today I am going to tr attempt to decorate the outside of this binder. Um, I'm going to try and paint space on the outside. The inside is fine. I, I like the pink. It's not like too busy. Not the outside. I know you guys are probably all thinking like, don't decorate it. It's already pretty, but it's too busy and there's too much green. I don't know. I can't. I can't help it. I just. I have to do it. I have to decorate it. It's this binder is for my astronomy class. I have to create a binder and put a bunch of reports in it and then present on it. So I thought it would be cool if my binder was painted with like stars and stuff. So, but I cannot. I can't paint directly on this because it's way too smooth. It's not really glossy, it's kind of a, a satin finish. But if I paint on this, I'm pretty sure I would just be able to scratch it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just some copy paper and glue it on here and then paint over this because this, this will be fine. So what I have is just some watered down um, glue because the glue is really really thick so I'm I'm gonna mix this up and see if I like the consistency and then glue these on and then I will start to paint so let's see how this goes cuz I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm gonna get started on There's no turning back now. All the paper's glued on. Um, and what I used for the my watered down glue is I used just original tacky glue. This is not acid free, but I really don't care for this. I'm not going to have this forever. And, you know, so I don't really care about the acidity in the glue. And I just put, um, it was like half glue, half water in here, and then I just mixed it up. Because if I used all um, just pure glue, I would have first of all used a ton, and just it would have been really thick. And it's not really necessary to glue this thin paper down. Um, so I glued the binder first, and then I also glued the paper, and then put it down and used this um, gift card to just you know get out bubbles mm -hmm. to really to even get some of the glue out because you want it to be you know, completely on the binder just kind of fused on there so um so now that's down and it's gonna rip right here but that's okay because i'm once i paint over it it'll be fine i'm going to gesso this and then I'm going to start painting on it.
well, I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, I wish I hadn't used the yellow or the green ink spray, but I've kind of hidden it with other colors. The only thing about these sprays, and I like how the purple one turned out, but the only thing about them is if you get any water on it at all, it re um, activates it very, very easily, and so that's not... That's the thing I don't like about these sprays. And I know with the yellow one, I did a journal, the vintage looking journal. I put yellow spray on that one and even if it was dry and I touched it, my fingers had like a yellow tint. So what I think I'm going to do when I'm done with this is um, I have this um, uh, Mod Podge Gloss Sealer. So we'll see if this will work out because I might activate this again, but hopefully it'll dry before it can like run or anything. So I'm not completely done with it. I like how it's looking, but this side of the front, I like how it looks open. But the front by itself, not so much. And then I want to put my class. I'm going to put like astronomy, you know, and my name and stuff. So I'm just going to keep working it, but <laughs> it's turning out cooler than I thought it was going to turn out. So I like it. I'm going to keep painting. can't paint on top of these ink sprays. Um, anything that I, I put white and it's just turning purple and I don't want any more purple. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put that fixative, that finish over this and then only put acrylic over it because acrylic won't reactivate. It's just these sprays that are reactivating. Um, and a downer about these sprays is that they kind of stink. <laughs> I used my <clears throat> embossing my heat gun on it um, and it, my room just kind of stinks it's kind of gross <laughs> so we will see what goes on with this I'm probably not going to work on it until later but yeah we'll see if, if even the Mod Podge finish will work if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do because I really don't want to leave this without um, without putting a clear coat over it because this could just come off on my clothes or on my hands and stuff. Like if you just, oh well, it wasn't dry, but even when it is dry, it can kind of come off. Which is too bad because they're, they're kind of cool. So I think I'm just going to put a little bit more of this and then come back and do some more painting. So the Mod Podge uh, sealer worked. It didn't like make it bleed or anything. But if I rub my finger right here, their uh, purple comes off. I must not have sprayed in this area. It was like, super dark outside and I couldn't see really where I was spraying. So I might put something, a little bit of Mod Podge, I mean, um, Clodge Podge on there really lightly. And then, oh no, oh, I need more glue over here. Ah. And then I'm just gonna keep painting. Okay, so I'm done painting the galaxy. <laughs> All the stars and stuff. I think it looks really cool. Um, now I'm just going to write my class and my name over here, I think. Yeah. But this actually did not work like I was hoping. The purple spray, it's just gonna reactivate no matter what. I got, what I ended up doing is just getting, I sprayed um, 
a different spray that has acrylic in it, but it's super light. And I sprayed that on and then just got a bunch of the purple off. So I don't think I'm going to be using those very often. It would be fine on paper. That's It would absorb into paper. That's not... It's not going to reactivate like this. This is, you know... There was already paint on here, so it was already already smooth so it, it's gonna activate no matter what so yeah I'm just gonna do that and then I'll be finished oh and I'm going to be using this precision pen I actually want to there's a set of these that I want to get um, they're bigger bottles and different sizes of the, the tip so I'm just gonna get started I really like how my stars look and my little like clouds, um, my universe painting. So just ignore this. Just ignore it. It's not there. Um, I just I I wish I had stopped with this, but I think it actually needed. I needed my name on the outside. So oh well, this is not important. But if, I just thought I would show you guys how I painted this, and I'm I'm actually really surprised with how it came out. Quite surprised, because I think it looks pretty cool. So that's it. Just a little video. It was a little experiment for me to see if I can do it. Because I've, I've been wanting to try it out for a while, and this was perfect because it's for an astro my astronomy class, so I think my teacher will like it. So that's all for today. If you want to do this to your binder, just do a better job than me here, and don't spray purple ink on it, or it'll make everything purple. So I hope you guys like the video. It's still cool. I just, I don't know. Purple. Alright. So, that's it. Bye, y'all.